Hi, welcome. I hope you're doing well. Today I've got my hands on another Asus ROG laptop. I have the new ROG Scar Strix G733. And I've had the past two gens and now I've got my hands on this one and I'm excited to tell you about it. Let's get into it, shall we? I've reviewed a lot of Asus ROG laptops and they're generally some of the best keyboards I've used. This one in particular is extremely impressive. The ultra fast optical mechanical keyboard is one of the best feeling keyboards I felt on any laptop. I really, really enjoyed using it. It also includes a full numpad and a spacious trackpad. Of course, the keyboard is full RGB and they brought back the light bar that they had in the past gens, which is also full RGB and it looks really cool day or night. With a Ryzen 9 CPU and NVIDIA GeForce RTX up to a 3080, the new ROG Scar Strix G733 can run pretty much any game without a glitch. A two terabyte SSD and up to 64 gigs of RAM, this thing is a beast. So who do I think is the perfect user for the ROG Scar Strix G733. Anyone who is looking for maximum power, anyone who's really hyper-focused on gaming and rendering, if you're looking for the most powerful laptop you can get, this is the one. And I know that with the past ROG Strix range, I said like, it's not really portable, but I don't feel like that with this one. I just feel like they've made it so much lighter. It's just super impressive. Like this I took on a trip recently and it was no bother whatsoever. So I have been lucky enough to play around with the last, I think two gens of the ROG Strix laptop. And this one is like leaps and bounds. My favorite one that I've seen out of all of them. Physically, I think it's the best looking one. It's so powerful and it's really impressive how thin this is and how lightweight for the most powerful gaming laptop that I've ever seen. I love the physical, like, I love this, what is it? Like brushed, what is it? I don't know how you describe this. I don't know my materials, but it's just like really smooth. You can see it's got like, if I shine the light on it, you can see here, ROG Strix like embedded but it's like smooth, but it's so minimal and modern, but it looks so powerful. It's just, it's just, it's just a gorgeous laptop. And then this you'll see is interchangeable to customize it. I usually like to do a side-by-side -side comparison, but I don't have the other Strix with me. I do have their Zephyrus with me, which is kind of one of their most portable laptops that they've got in their Asus ROG laptop range. I just wanted to give you like a size reference to compare it to. Obviously there are crazy different specs and different intentions, but just a visual representation. So yeah, pretty big difference, but pretty big difference in specs. The 300 Hertz IPS panel with a three millisecond response rate showcases the graphics so beautifully and smoother than you could imagine. I played a couple different types of games to test it out and it blew my mind every single time. Quiet cooling is under 45 decibels in turbo mode. The battery is way smaller and way more portable than the previous gens. It was actually shocking the size difference between the last gen and this one. They've taken it down a lot. And there is also USB-C charging. There's quad speakers with Dolby Atmos surround sound. Um, it genuinely blew me away. As soon as I opened the game, I was kind of taken aback at the quality of the sound. I didn't expect it, I don't know why, but it was just really, really impressive. There are three USBs, one USB Type-C, an HDMI, a LAN, a headphone jack, and one Keystone input. The charging port is at the back, which I prefer. It's easier to stay plugged in while you're gaming and it doesn't get in the way. If power is your priority, this is the laptop I would recommend. With the specs that it's got and the size that it's fitted into, with the design that it has, I just think it's an all round insanely good laptop and I've really enjoyed using it. Thank you so much for watching. If you are interested in gaming laptops in general or this specific one, hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, you can just leave them in the comment section and I'll try to answer them. Or you can always come ask me at twitch.tv forward slash Rachel K when I'm live. 
And yeah, see you on the next one.